Register has been updated to now fully support handheld devices such as smartphones and the next generation of payment devices. This update also allows for portrait mode on tablets if desired. Unlike some solutions, our mobile offering is not a trimmed down EPOS. It is the full register as you know it, supporting every feature and configuration. The only difference is the user interface has been optimized for smaller screens and some workflows have been slightly altered. Register will automatically set the screen layout for you. You can however change this if desired in the settings. To do this, tap the button with three dots on the login screen and tap settings. Tap UI mode and select handheld mode portrait or tablet mode landscape and then tap the done button. As you can see, the login screen and timekeeping options have remained largely unchanged, so we will go ahead and log in as normal. The register screen is where most of the changes have taken place. The top bar has remained as is. You can still access the menu from here, suspend and resume transactions and log out. This is followed by the display window, which has not changed. We now have separate tabs to access the journal, which loads by default, as well as tabs for the browsers and product lookup, which we'll come back to in a second. Beneath the journal we have our function buttons. These are still dynamic like they are on the tablet. The main difference here is the irrelevant buttons are now hidden rather than disabled. These will change as you add or select items. Finally, we have two new buttons at the bottom of the screen for viewing a full screen journal and taking payment. Let's go ahead and run through some transactions so we can see some of the changes that have taken place. Tapping the product browser tab will display either the standard or plus browser depending on your configuration. You can add items as you did before by simply tapping products. The display window and function keys will update automatically. Products that contain list or price modifiers also work as they did before and will automatically show the modifier screen if configured. If you add a measured item, the keypad will be displayed automatically so you can enter the measures as you normally would. The department browser operates as it always has. Tap this to browse through your departments to locate your chosen products. The product lookup tab replaces the prod button in tablet mode. Tap this and then search for your product. The results will be listed and can be added by tapping the add item button. Tapping the journal tab will return us to the journal where we can see the items that we have added. Two-way workflows are still in place so we can either tap the void button and then tap an item in the journal, or tap a journal item first and then the void button. As mentioned earlier, the function keys are still dynamic and automatically change depending on your previous action. We can clearly see this by tapping an item in the journal and then tapping another. You will see the irrelevant buttons become hidden, helping you reduce training and user error. Moving on to the additions on the register screen, tapping the summary button will provide a full screen read only journal. This will show you all the items in the current transaction along with the tax summary. You cannot make any changes on this screen, it is for information purposes only. To return to the transaction, just tap the back button. As soon as you have added an item to a transaction, the pay button will become active and will also display the transaction total. When your customer is ready to pay, Tap this button and you will be taken to a new tendering screen. From here, you can add a tip or a surcharge if this option has been configured. View the transaction summary or pay. All the existing register payment methods are supported. You can pay the exact amount with cash or card, pay with the quick tender buttons or other tender options just like you would on a tablet. You can also adjust the amount being paid by tapping the amount button and keying in the amount you would like to pay. Like on the tablet, this is how you would complete a split tender or enter the amount paid so register can calculate the change owed. Suspending and resuming transactions operate in the same way as they always have. If enabled, tap the save button in the top bar to suspend a transaction, then name the transaction and print any order receipts. To resume a transaction, tap the folder icon in the top bar and tap the resume button on the appropriate transaction. This can be done on any register device in the store. Moving on to the main menu, this is not changed but some of the features within it have been slightly redesigned. The only change on the report screen is the TIL sales report now details all the data in a single list rather than two. The other reports and functionality have not changed. Both paid in and paid out will now list the reasons in a pop-up screen. After selecting your reason, it will display a pop-up keypad for entering the amount being paid in or out. Transaction history has also been tweaked slightly. All transactions are listed as they were before, 
However, you must now tap the View button in order to see the items purchased and other features such as reprinting the receipt and applying a refund. The Stock section also has a minor change. You can search for items and scan barcodes as you did before. The main difference is the item details have been moved to another screen. Simply tap the View button on the relevant item and you will then be able to update the stock quantity, view the item details and stock levels in other stores if applicable. The web portal, customer URL and guide buttons all work as before, opening the appropriate websites within Register. The CRM features have only had a minor change to the customer section. You can search for existing customers as before, but must now tap a view button to see the customer's details. This will then present the customer's details, appointments and transactions like it does on the tablet. The calendar section of the CRM has not changed. Finally, we will show how the end day section where you cash up has changed. When ending the day, you will now see two tabs. The first shows all the expected values and the second tab is where you record the actual values. To carry out your cashing up, you will need to tap the actual values tab, tap a cash denomination and enter the quantity in the same way you do on the tablet. Register will then calculate the total amount for each coin and note you have entered. You can tap the expected values tab at any time to double check any information and when you are ready, tap the end day button to complete the process. Further information on Register Handheld can also be found in your user manual and if you still have any questions, please feel free to get in touch.